Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Teagan, Raleigh, North Carolina. We're looking at the 2020 Highlander today and not everybody is in a budget range and not everybody needs to have all the accoutrements that you see in a Platinum, a Limited, or even an XLE. So what about this LE? This is an all-wheel drive. We're gonna look at just how equipped an LE is. I think you're gonna be really impressed because it is loaded up for what it is. I want you to be the judge, so let's get started with our review. I feel like, just like every other Toyota that comes out when it's redesigned, new body style, new aerodynamics, new interior, there's gonna be a polarizing effect. Some people are gonna fall in love with it and say, it's the next best thing, I love it. Other people are gonna be a little bit more reserved and maybe they won't like it so much. This is a similar phenomenon to the 2019 RAV4 when it was redesigned where people said, uh-uh, it's too rugged, too sporty, it's not what we're used to, and now it's the best-selling SUV in America by a long shot. So it's doing really well. I think people are gonna think the same thing about this Highlander. It's, I think, sophisticated, it's sleek styling, it's got nice flowing lines, but look at this, it's loaded. This one has LE model, can you believe that? LE has LED headlights, daytime running lights, LED fog lights, it's got Toyota Safety Sense 2.0, so you got lane tracing assist, road sign assist, it picks up, picks up people during the daytime, and at nighttime it picks up bicycles during the daytime. That's really big in active communities like around here where there are gonna be a lot of cyclists on the streets. You just want as much protection as possible and of course we wanna be able to see everyone as much as possible. The number one topic of conversation I'm hearing around water coolers, that's IE for the internet, especially on my channel. People have thoughts about the certain grill and the accent marks right there. I think that's something that people will get used to. It's gonna be a symbol of luxury and prestige, but it's a gloss black. I really do think you'll grow to like this or at least not be so disliking of it. We'll see what you think. But anyway, look at this. It's got disc brakes in the front and the rear, 18 inch alloy wheels. These ones actually remind me of similar styling to a RAV4 XLE model. Trying to look at it from all sides. Look at this though. We've got turn signal indicators in the side mirror. This is an LE. We've got blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert. Smart key, push button start, and auto open. That's a big deal, folks. On an LE model. Do I sound passionate enough? Now, fuel facts. The fuel tank size on this one is 17.9 gallons and the gas mileage, MPG, baby, it's combined to 23. That'll equate to 20 in the city, 27 in the highway, 23 combined. How does it look? Here's yet another example of why the LE model is such a great value and should be considered if you don't need leather seats, if you don't need a sunroof, you don't need built-in GPS. It's got a power lift gate here, LED tail lights and stop lights, so they come on quicker, they shine brighter, they last longer. The backup camera's hidden here, and then everything else is in chrome. It just looks finished off. It's very refined, I would say. But let's hold this down. Holla. I feel like I'm just standing and waiting for something to happen. Like that plane. Every Highlander is gonna have three standard rows of seating. You'll get your choice on the higher levels if, if you want a bench seat or captain's chairs there. On the LE model, the L model, it's gonna be fabric seating and then it's gonna have bench seat. The back seat area, since Highlander is 2.36 inches longer than last year, last generation, all of the space went to the cargo area. So instead of 13.8 cubic feet, it's now 16 cubic feet of storage space. And that's a big deal, especially on family road trips. So if you wanna lower the seats, the headrest just pops down on its own. This is what it looks like configured flat halfway back. I'm gonna go and lower the middle seat so you can see what it looks like when it's all opened up.
All right, now here's all of our cargo capacity. That's a lot, it's a big deal. Can you see furniture in here? What can you see in here? Here's the space you have for stacking things up or maybe putting your pets there while they're traveling. Also, the air vents are right there and right there in the LE. If you'll see in the higher levels, it's a little bit different with the moonroof, they'll be right here and here, but they'll be this orientation across, so. There's the seat belt right there for the third seat. This is a eight passenger seat, Toyota says. Engine performance is one of those big factors that dictates how a vehicle drives, how it accelerates on, on ramps, going up hills, passing cars on country roads, that kind of a thing. This car here, I've seen it, it's smooth, it's quiet, it's very comfortable, but it has a 3.5 liter V6 engine and that gives you 295 horsepower and 263 whew, foot pounds of torque. There is no longer a four cylinder option. So you're gonna have to deal with that. Before there was an LE four cylinder or LE V6, but the four cylinder, frankly, other than budget reasons, there was no reason to have it. it, it was a little underpowered, I think, for the Highlander that it was. This is matched with an eight-speed automatic transmission. You will really like the multi-link rear suspension. Test it out on test drives, cornering around more country roads. Ask the salesperson you work with to test it out, going around tight turns, kind of winding a little bit, because you'll see it handles really well. Have them take you on the highway so you can see for yourself if it's quiet, is there's less wind noise. There's supposed to be less wind noise than before, so woo! That's good news. Another question I get a lot is about the remote engine start. Is this on the LE? Here's the all wheel drive here. All you do is hit lock, lock, hold down lock again. See it flash? It's gonna work. Boom, cha-ching, boom. It works on the LE model. It works on the XLE, the Limited, the Platinum. I've tried it on them all. This is very cool stuff. So you can do that from your home or your office. You know, as long as you're within a certain range, I don't know what that is. Uh, probably within, well, I don't even want to guess, but try it out at different distances and see how it works for you. But it works. Let's turn it off. Oh. Let's take a look inside and I'll show you how nice it is. Again, just for the LE level, it's really quite striking. I think it's a nice soft pad and the seats are very comfortable. This is with the black interior, obviously. Whoops, I forgot to unlock all the doors. Now we'll try it. Okay, it's gonna have standard five USB ports, including two in the back right there. It's got climate control that's digital. Really nice. It's a very good value. And even if you were to get the level below this, the L model, it's still gonna have an eight inch multimedia touchscreen. And just like the LE, the L's gonna give you Android Auto and Apple CarPlay and Amazon Alexa. You can also get Waze, Google Maps, traditional iPhone maps. Passenger side, I'm gonna to try to speed it up a little bit because it's starting to rain. There's a smart storage shelf here. Traditionally, I don't like all black interiors for me personally. I just think it's too dark, but Toyota found a way to brighten this up so that it's kind of a mix of metallic and like a, a grayish along with blackish. So I don't know if that would count as all black interior. It does not have a moonroof, that's not standard. But yeah, check this out, man. Eight inch multimedia touch screen. It's got bink, 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 bink. Let's see if we can hit. Just like that. And then we've got three USB ports plus a 12 volt circular port cup holders, electronic parking brake, brake hold, and also traction control off, 
snow mode, downhill assist control, and engine start and stop. Look at this, mud and sand, rock and dirt. Those are multi-terrain select modes so that you can control what type of terrain you're on to give you the best traction possible. That's a huge advantage. Sport mode, better acceleration, eco mode, better gas mileage. Normal is normal. Let's look in here. Now on the XLE and above, you're gonna get the wireless charging that would go right in here and you just lift it up on the LE. Easily. There, 12 volt circular port in there. Mm-hmm, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, that's for looking at the kids. It's also for sunglasses, safety connect up there. I think by now people expect, unless I forget that I'm gonna show the window sticker at the end of a product review or walk around. So this is the all wheel drive equivalent. It's gonna be a little bit more expensive than the front wheel drive equivalent. Made in Princeton, Indiana. Look at that, the great gas mileage. The special color, when you get that pearl paint, that pearlescent finish, it's gonna cost a little bit extra. Same thing with Ruby Flare Pearl, Wind Chill Pearl, those type of pearls. Pearl, pearl, pearl. All right, Toyota Safety Sense 2.0. Blind spot monitor is standard and rear cross traffic alert. Big deal. This one even has remote connect on it so that you can start your car from your phone. You can turn it off. You can make sure your windows are locked uh, and up, your moonroof is up, all that kind of stuff. You can see how much gasoline you have left in your car, all from your office building or inside your house. Big deal, guys, big deal. That's huge. Love my remote connect. All right, the factory MSRP on an all-wheel drive LE is 38.4. Got some options here that we added to it. And then this one's gonna be 40,835. Thanks so much for watching. I hope it was helpful. And please subscribe to Toyota Jeff YouTube channel. That sounded robotic. But anyway, what's not robotic is my love for you guys, my fans, my followers. I really appreciate you guys so much. And I get fired up when I'm talking about this new Highlander. Woo, that's a big deal, folks. So please subscribe. And thank you guys so much for following along. You're the best. I swear you are. Tell family, tell friends to uh, follow me too. I really appreciate you guys. That's a lot of love. See you next time.